We brought home newborn twins, and night one, they were cluster feeding. Ugh. No sleep for mom and dad. On night two, mama had to be rushed to the ER. So how did I survive three nights with cluster feeding infants? With help from grandma, and with this. Hi, I'm Kevin Scott, your host with the most spitty up on a shirt. Ew. It's no secret that it's hard to get sleep with a newborn. If you're a first time parent, literally everyone with kids will tell you that. For mom, chances are your bladder was squished to a pancake. So you may be familiar with no sleep, but for dad, it can be a real shock to the system. I was in trouble. At the hospital, I could feed them and change them, and they would go right back to sleep. But at home, they had evolved. I could do both of those things, and they would still be pissed. They wanted to be held now until they were calm and sleepy. So what I realized is that I had to change them and feed them without waking them up. Too much. So we have this slick little nightlight called the Hatch Baby Rest. It's dimmable, it changes colors, it plays music, you can control it with your phone, but it isn't quite bright enough to complete those nighttime tasks. Here is our bedroom light. We kind of, we're, we're in the middle of changing it into a dimmer and we had to use that for something else, but just by flipping this switch, I can trigger immediate and extended grumpiness from two twins. Not what I wanted to do. So how could I take care of them without flipping on the bedroom light? Well, that's simple. With this $750 device known as the iPhone XR. It wrong. Turns out that the only thing that the babies hated worse than the bedroom light was this LED flashlight being shined into their eyes. No matter how I tried to position my phone, I ended up shining in their eyes by accident or just not being able to see the task at hand. No, I needed something else. So it turns out my wife has an incredible knack for finding products. She has this sort of chess master queen's gambit ability to see many moves ahead and know if a product's features will be useful, sometimes years in advance. You can of course take advantage of this superpower by subscribing to this channel. Yet with my wife laid up in the hospital, I was going to have to figure this one out alone. And that's when I found this one on my desk. One of Paris' many finds, and one that had really impressed her. This is the Empowered Lucy Solar Powered Lantern. It can also be powered via this USB port right here. A USB port that in turn can be used to charge your phone or other devices. The Lucy Light has three dimming options and a fourth for a flashing light. Battery powered, portable, and waterproof. Unlike the harsh light of the flashlight on the iPhone, the Lucy Light gives off this soft, warm, ambient task light. It's a light that doesn't disturb baby. Unlike the Hatch Baby Rest, the Lucy Light can be made bright enough to complete tasks like changing diapers, using the bulb syringe, finding and putting in a pacifier, or even checking for and cleaning up spitty up. Also, you can carry the Lucy Light around by this little strap here. Since you can move around the Lucy Light, you can get it right up close to the task at hand and put it in a position where it doesn't disturb baby. And did I mention it's waterproof? So right now it's two in the morning. I just finished feeding both of them back to back. And I do just want to point out that while it is hard, it is challenging. It is one of the most amazing experiences and just a great chance to be able to bond with your kids. So just want to make that note for you um, parents who are expecting. Using the lantern, I could see the task at hand and take care of the babies, just minimally disturbing them, which helped them get back to sleep. 